Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me for our webinar in the Ultimate Speaker Series, Mastering Marketing Material. I'm Leslie Pogue, your host, and I'm looking forward to sharing this information with you. I hope that it's beneficial because I know as a new speaker and a beginning speaker, it's very easy to just dive right in and start spending a lot of money <laughs> and trying everything you can to get noticed and to get seen. But in not only my own experience, but also what other speakers have learned and talked about and shared, you don't have to spend a lot of money. There are going to be plenty of programs that tell you that don't get a cheap website, don't do it halfway, make sure that you do it very professionally and all these other things. When you're a brand new speaker and really all you need to do is get someone to pay you to speak, that is your priority. So um, tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the easiest ways to set yourself up. And again, you want to be thinking about your speaking business as a business. Um, at the end of this, if, if for those who stay on the call, I'll, I'll share, I'll share a, um, a cold call list for you. It's just, a, it's just a template for you. It's an easy way to help you make those calls that you need to make. You can adjust it and change the verbiage as you need to. But I know that getting started is really hard. So I'm going to give you that tool to help you with that. And I'm also going to give you a little bit of information about the National Speakers Association, which um, that also helps you to build your speaking business. So that said, let's go ahead and get started. The Ultimate Speaker Mastering Marketing Material is underway and this is what we're going to talk about today. You're going to learn how to get yourself set up, get started, how to create events, and by creating events, it gives you content. And that's what you're going to need in order to have stuff to put on your website, to draw people to you and listen to you and find out more about you. And we're also going to talk about how to find you some gigs. How do you get booked? I know that's the biggest thing for a new speaker. It's like, I have no material. I haven't spoken anywhere. How do I get booked? We're going to talk about some easy ways just to give you some basic content right from the beginning. So let's get started. As a new speaker, you are just a face in the crowd. No one knows who you are, but you are your best flyer. You are your best billboard. You are your best marketing piece of material. So when you're thinking about how you want to represent your message and your brand, that's actually where you want to start. It might sound, I don't know, silly or frivolous or even self-indulgent. But here's the first thing you want to think about. How do you look? Do you look like a speaker? <laughs> do you look like a professional? Are you put together? Is your look consistent with your message? If your message is on grunge, then grunge is how you can look. If your message is on parenting, then you definitely want to represent parents in a positive way. You want your walking billboard, you, to be your marketing material. That's the first thing you want to start with. So think about your brand. Again, don't go out and spend thousands of dollars on a branding coach. Get some good clothes, okay? <laughs> it's really that simple. Just look consistent with your message. Start there. Ask someone else. Ask other people, people you trust. Ask them, do I look like I sounds basically you know is this the, the image I'm giving is that the billboard that I want to present so ask people how do I look do I look like a parent do I look like a, an authority figure in this topic and get their feedback listen to it and apply it where needed that is your first step you are your is your first piece of marketing material so start there with the look and walk the walk own your message. My message is the habit of happy, and I am happy all the time, even when I'm not so happy. But be happy, you know? Be your message. So that's where you want to start. 
you are your best flyer and your best billboard. So once you've done that, you need to set yourself up. You want to set up a basic website. <laughs> I've been doing this now for well over 10 years, really longer than that if you count all the stabs I took in my 20s and early 30s and every attempt I made. But I have gone to so many webinars, seminars, classes that said, do not get a cheap website. Spend money. Take the time to find a web designer and get a good website. Let me tell you something. As a new speaker, you don't have content for a good website. You just don't. Now, if you do happen to have some content, that's great. If you happen to have a bag full of money stashed away in the closet, go ahead and spend that on a quality website because at the end of the day, a website is a living thing, so it'll only get better from there. But if you are truly just starting out, don't spend money on a website. There are so many free websites or inexpensive websites that come already made with templates. You can't afford to hire someone to build your content and make all these fancy things happen. Go to Wix, go to WordPress, go to Weebly, find a website that comes with ready-made templates, ready-made widgets, because that way you get your lead generation and all of that is already baked in. Set that up with the most basic information and don't feel bad if it's just one page. If you just have a home page to begin with, that's fine because you still need some place for people to go. Once you start talking to people, they're going to need to be able to reach out to you in some way. They're going to want to see what you do. And if you haven't done anything, they at least want to see what you represent. So start a blog get a website, and just have an online presence to begin with. And that's where you want to start. Get people starting to remember your name. I'll tell you, the first, it's great because even now it still happens. But early on, there would be so many times I would start to network and for a while nothing was happening. But then there came that networking function that I went to and someone said, Leslie Pope, hmm, that name sounds familiar. Ding, 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 ding. That means that whatever I'm doing is working. Hey, it looks like we have someone that joined us. Welcome. Thank you for joining. It means that whatever you're doing is working. Once you continue on getting known and getting out there and getting seen, and we'll talk about networking a little bit later, once you start getting that presence, it is going to be a beautiful thing because whether people do know you or not, they will have seen your name on the internet. So they'll hear your name and think they know you. And that is marketing gold. So start with a basic website, get seen, get a, an online presence, get a blog going and just talk about something basic. I know um, I have a friend, he has a, an automatic um, it's like a it's like an automatic feed that goes out to people so you can subscribe to it You can sign up for this automatic message of the day and all it is is quotes of other people Now I'm not gonna knock that Because what he's doing is it's he's building his list, but it's just quotes of other people So don't think it has to be fancy or special or something that takes a long time Start building your website, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the kind of content that you can put on your website in just a moment. So think about a basic website and a um, basic blog to just start to have that presence. So once you've started working on your physical brand and how you represent yourself and how you show up in the world, then you show up with your website and you start having an online presence the next thing you'll need is to be seen and heard. That's when you want to be a guest on radio shows. That is the easiest and fastest way to build content for your website. I cannot tell you how easy it is to get on 
radio shows. You don't have a topic, or rather, you do want to have a topic. Let me start there. <laughs> Make sure you know what you're talking about. But if you don't have content yet, get on someone's radio show that talks to the people that you want to meet. So again, you don't want to just get on any old radio show. You do want it to be targeted, but target the audience for your message. That's the fastest way and an easy marketing way to get to those people. Radio show hosts always need guests. The other great thing is you never know when a show might have a guest scheduled. If they've talked to you, maybe their guest falls out or cancels. I know that happened to me relatively recently. I was at a networking function. And I ran into a friend of mine who has a radio show. He had a guest scheduled for that Thursday. I think I ran into him on a Monday. He said, oh, my goodness, Leslie, I'm so glad I ran into to you. I've been wanting to have you on my show, but here's an opportunity. I had a guest scheduled for Thursday. By any chance, are you available at this time on Thursday? Well, of course you're available. Always be available. <laughs> no matter what you're doing, make sure you're available. Figure out a way to be available. And of course, I told him that I was. So instantly, I got on a radio show. Didn't even go for it. It, it showed up for me. So be prepared with, I don't know, 30 to 60 minutes of talking points about your topic and reach out to radio show hosts and get on their shows. That is such a great way to market. Here's the other benefit that gives you. After you've done the show, there is always a link to the show. Yes, now you have ding, 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 content. That's right. Now you have something to put on that website that you just created that when people find you and they go to your website, now they can hear you in action. They can hear you speaking without you speaking. It's so great. So it definitely starts to build that marketing piece for you. Do not feel like you have to go out and spend goo gobs of money to get something happening. There are so many inexpensive and even free ways to get your message out there, to touch base with people. But again, make sure that it is targeted. Focus on your market. Take the moment on the front end and find out who your people are that you want to reach. When you're on a radio show, they do usually want to know a bio. So definitely fill out a complete, figure out a bio for yourself. Just about a paragraph long. They definitely want your contact information. So that's where your website comes in handy. If you can have a phone number, Try really hard not to let it be your regular cell phone number. Try and get a free Google number or something like that, but definitely give them a way for their audience to be able to contact you and be prepared. Be prepared for that last minute phone call of, hey, I spoke to you about a week ago and you said, you mentioned that you were available and your topic is XYZ. Be ready. Make yourself available. And that is one of the fastest and easiest way ways to have marketing material for your website so keep that in mind be a guest on a radio show also go to other meetings i'll talk about networking in a little more detail but this is kind of it's kind of networking but not really if you are a toastmaster be at your toastmaster meeting and speak record yourself speaking it counts and upload that video to your website. Now, try not to let it always be your phone because it depends on how great your phone is. Um, iPads or iPhones and iPads are really great and they're really designed for this kind of media. But if you can have a video camera set up or at least have someone in the room run it for you so they can try and get different angles, do that. But if not, it's okay. Again, in the beginning, what's important is that we just see what you can do. It's really that simple. Go ahead and get that uh, information recorded. Um, get your, your speeches recorded. Try and when you're speaking at your Toastmaster meetings or at any meeting, try and, well, not try, always, really, always gear it toward your message once you know what your message is. 
you can shift and as you become a more savvy speaker you'll know how to shift whatever is thrown at you to hit your topic i'm lucky in that my topic is the habit of happy so it's really easy to gear whatever the topic is leadership personal injury whatever it is i can gear it to happy and also because happy is an acronym so once you have that message down and in your head how you want to sell it when things come up you'll know how to spin it so that it always comes back to your message so do that in your toastmaster meetings if you work in a company and you're asked to lead a meeting you can kind of slip it in there yeah slip it in now be careful because if it is your job you want to be careful <laughs> on how you slip in your message but again any opportunity you have to speak if you can record it record it because again that's content and that's what you need for your website so continually plan on getting more and more content for your website if you have an opportunity to speak at chambers and rotaries that is the other area that is where beginning speakers really want to get started you want to reach out to your local chamber of commerce your local organizations like your boys and girls clubs anywhere in your own community i.e people who already know you that is the key it's easy to get in with people who already know you so speak to the people who know you know what you're trying to do know your message have seen you in action and get on their roster to speak for whatever it is five minutes be an MC just be the introductory person for the day but get your content built it does not have to be formal there are gonna be so many people to tell you that it does it does not one thing I learned in this business is that there is no right or wrong way to do anything now there's guidelines there are things that are better than other things but there is no right or wrong way to do it so what's important is to get out there and do it so that's what I'm recommending get out there and do it all right so once you're a guest on the radio show the next thing you want to do is network 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 because you've set up your foundation now you now have your brand down you're walking your walk you're feeling good you're operating in the world like you are this speaker or whatever it is you're going to talk about you have set up your website so you have a place for people to go and see you you're starting to build content because now you are doing email blasts I mean not email blasts but you're doing blogs you're doing Facebook posts you're doing different things to get your name out there so that people start to kind of know your name and then you're showing up on radio shows you're starting to speak a little bit you're starting to really start to fine-tune and tighten up your message because that's what this also does it gives you the practice to tighten up your message you're gonna say things and at the end of it you're gonna look at it and go oh my goodness why did I say that I wish I could take it back well you can't <laughs> it's on the show it's there but it's okay because that's how we learn get your message out there then you want to network 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 networking is the same as the radio shows you want to be targeted don't just go to any and everything you definitely want to make sure that you are asking the right questions you're being in front of people you are being yourself to so much just be you that is the that, those are the best speakers when you start to get out there and you try and be the package speaker because that's what you were taught to make sure that you're so packaged and everything is so perfect and everything is just in place and that's not how people look don't do that be yourself talk to people like you would talk to your friend ask questions but I'll tell you here's the big secret about networking 
The big mistake most people make when they go out networking is they talk about themselves. Don't do it. I mean, a little, just a little bit. You want to talk about yourself a teeny tiny bit. But ask them questions. Why? You need to find out their pain points. What problem are you going to solve? You have no idea what their pain points are if the whole night you've talked about how great you are. You already know you're great. They need to find out that you're great. And you just standing there is not going to tell them. So ask questions and listen actively. Repeat what you hear them say. So I heard you mention that your challenge, you have a lot of turnover because your teams aren't really communicating well. It sounds like a soft skills issue. Well, I know I've done some soft skills programs in the past. I'd, I'd love to talk to you. I'm actually building one right now. I'd love to talk to you and just pick your brain about some of the things that you're seeing with your team. And it might help me to build my program because I'd love to get your expertise, ding, 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 on what I might be able to offer in the future. Ding, ding, ding. I'm not selling you nothing today. Keep in mind, you're not selling anything today, although you've planted the seed. Find out what your audience needs and become that solution. That's what networking is actually for. You want to get their information because, yes, eventually you do want to sell them something. <laughs> so you want to get their contact information and follow up with them. But ideally, you want to get that first phone call to be, hey, what do you think? What are your issues? What problems do you need solved? Here's how I might be able to solve them. If nothing else, you might get a speaking gig out of it. You might not be able to sell them a program, but you might get a, a, a quick speaking gig. Hey, can you come by my office? We're having a meeting next Friday, and I'd love to just introduce you to the group. Do you have, can you meet us for that? Ding, ding, ding. Now you have another gig that you can videotape. Content. That's how you build it. Be a giver. If you have something to give away, give it away. I used to give away my books. When I first wrote my first books, uh, 28 Days to Happy and the Positive Side of the Bad Stuff, I really got them published just as expensive actually they weren't that expensive but basically flyers really it really t it i just handed them out you pass them out like candy same with business cards don't spend a lot of money on business cards but i tell you when you get some get about 500 of them and you pass those things out like candy but don't forget to grab business cards from other people as well and you can go into mailchimp which is also a free service create your automatic email response and that way you can blast those people not blast them i shouldn't use that terminology because it sounds bad but you definitely want to reach out to them and follow up with them the very next day or at least within 24 to 48 hours and if you can personalize it with a email that says hi cindy we met the other night at such and such event it was such a great pleasure it was a pleasure meeting you and then fill in the content that is such a great way for people to remember who you are. It builds your brand, your market. It's marketing you as a professional in the industry. It's marketing you as a, just a professional. So they're going to want to work with you. And it is a way to get your name in their face. They will remember that. It's so, so powerful. So remember how to do that. Now, networking, you want to go to networking breakfasts chambers, rotaries, associations, organizations that talk about what you want to talk about, HR, parenting, whatever it is, everything has an association or a national chapter. Find out where they are in your area because, again, you want to start locally first. Find out where they are. Show up. Introduce yourself. Shake some hands. Pass out some cards. Smile. Because here's what's going to happen at those networking breakfasts and mixers. They're going to go around the room. They're going to want to know who you are. Yeah. That's where you need, hey, an elevator pitch. Make sure that you can introduce yourself properly. Prepare it. Have it ready. 
have it in that chamber so that you can just pull it out on command. Now, an elevator pitch, I'll tell you, you'll look it up, and there'll be a lot of different numbers as to how long or short it should be. My recommendation Really, nowadays, it should be about 15 seconds or less, but 30 seconds is still okay. Once you get past the 30 second, 45 seconds to a minute, it's too long. People are going to tune you out, unless you're just a dynamic person, which some people are. Some people live out loud, and they're just dynamic, and you can hold a person's attention. I say go for it if that's who you are, but I still recommend keeping it around 15 seconds or less. When I first started, I would go to um, job fairs, actually. <laughs> this is how I would get in the door. I would go to job fairs and, and get in line as if I was looking for a job. And that was a good way to get in front of the HR people, ideally. You didn't always, but a lot of times you could. I would get in front of the HR person, and they would start talking to me as if I was an applicant, but I would turn the tables and I would ask them and I would say, so what kind of training do you offer? Which an applicant would ask, what kind of training do you offer? And they'd go into the training on how to do the job that they're actually there to fill. And I'd say, well, no, how do you train people on the soft skills like communication, teamwork, and that kind of thing? What kind of training do you have for your people on soft skills and that would raise a question they sit back perplexed and go hmm i don't what do you mean soft what are soft skills ding 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 that's an opening for me i'm able to get in and go well that's why you need me soft skills well i would say that hard skills is how you get the job soft skills is how you keep the job and that's why you need me i'm a soft skills expert i'd give them my card and i'd ex and i'd just let them know I can help you with filling that soft skills gap. I'd love to talk to you about what you're doing for your staff with your soft skills. Not the greatest elevator pitch, I, I, I agree, but it got me in the door. And from doing that, I did get a couple of calls from HR people and I ended up doing a couple of trainings for two different companies as a result of going after HR folks at job fairs. So just don't be afraid to get in front of people and say, hey, this is what I can do. This is how I can help you. But don't be a car salesman. Network, network, network. Um, mixers. Mixers are like company Christmas parties. Don't drink too much. I know I probably shouldn't even say that. I, I pro some of you are probably looking at me going, oh, I can't believe she said that. Yeah, seriously. Go. It's work. <laughs> this is business. Go, be social, do what you do. Again, be you. I'm not saying go have a cocktail. But I am saying remember that it's business because they're looking at your brand. You are a walking billboard. So remember that that's who they're seeing and that's who they'll be buying. Regardless of your message, they'll be buying you. So you want to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward at all times, at the grocery store, because here's the thing. A speaker is a speaker everywhere, no matter where you go. And the higher you go on the food chain of this, in the speaking business, the more people will know you. And it doesn't matter. Once you tell people you're a speaker, you're a speaker everywhere. At the dry cleaners, the grocery store, the gas station, not just in your business. So remember that you must always be representing your brand in a very positive way because people record stuff. They will see you. Be cognizant of how you show up in the world because that is really key. Like I said at the beginning, you are your best flyer. You are your best billboard. So make sure that you are representing the business you want to put out there. So that's your networking side. Make sure that you're thinking about the breakfasts that you want to hit. And again, don't just randomly hit them. Take the time to make a list. Plan where you're going to go. Reach out to them on the phone if you want to. Just make the connection. Build the relationship so that ultimately later on you can get the business. Because you will get the business, but you do have to build the relationship on the front end. And that does take a, a little bit of work. After you have networked, oh, I might be done with that. Let's see. You want to 
get out there and advertise yourself. The next step is to register with speaker bureaus. Speaker bureaus are like um, temp agencies, for lack of a better way of putting it, for speakers. <laughs> it's a nice way to have your information in a place where other people can find you. So it's like having more than just you looking. They can find you. I, myself, I use Speaker Match. Freespeaker.org and Free Speaker Bureau. I'll be honest with you, I haven't used them, but I've heard good things about definitely freespeakerbureau.com. And it's just, a, again, a way to have like your speaker resume in front of people. Now, some of you are probably saying, I don't have a resume, I haven't done anything. Still get your basic bio up there, get a link to your blog. Um, as you create videos, you can upload them. Speaker Match, when I started with Speaker Match, I went ahead and, and bought the Cadillac version. So I, I went ahead and paid the $49.99 membership. But I gave myself six months to have it produce any kind of business. And if it hadn't, I was going to discontinue the membership. When I tell you two weeks to the end of that six-month period is when I got my first gig, I am not lying to you. It took <laughs> right down to the last two weeks of that six-month window. But I got a gig, and it was so great because it was local. It was for a sorority. It was up in the California mountains, so I could drive. I was able to set my price. They, you're able to set your price on these bureaus, and, and that lets the people who are looking for you know roughly your price range. We can talk about price in a different uh, webinar, but you do want to be cognizant of your price and you do want to charge something. There's a lot of psychology behind how you price, not only just psychology, but there's also, you know, market. You want to test market and all that. We can get into that in another time, but you do want to set a price. It's okay to do the freebies to get your content, but when you load your information onto these bureaus, you want to have a rate uh, listed. And that is definitely a red flag to people that you are a professional in this industry. Even if it's on the low end, you want to have a price set. So with Speaker Match, I got that gig and I ended up obviously keeping it, but they have a low end. They do have a $9.99 plan and it does have the basics, but it, again, it allows you to get out there, be seen, and on these speaker boards, you're able to also job search. So when companies are looking for speakers, they're posting their events on these speaker boards and you can search them and find places where you can speak. They also post freebies. So because you have act, this gives you access to a broader range of people. So here's an opportunity that if you do want to just, if you still just feel comfortable just doing the freebies at first, just to get content, no problem. They will love you actually. So go onto the speaker bureaus, look for the speeches or the speaking opportunities that are free or that pay a little something and apply. Now every speaker Bureau has its own method of how you apply, but definitely follow the process and pay attention to the deadline dates. Pay attention to the names of people who are posting the sites, uh, who are posting the uh, opportunities, because here's another way to get in. Make a video. Again, it does not have to be fancy. It can be on your phone. It can be on a simple video camera, whatever it is. And, and you might want to get it in a way to where you can edit it a little bit. But post a video response to the people who are posting those opportunities because what it'll do is they'll see you. They'll hear you. They'll put a name to a face. You'll also be able to call them directly by name. It's lovely because it feels like they're speaking to you when you do that. That is, is such a powerful tool. And that's a great thing about technology. Use technology to your benefit. And again, it does not have to cost a lot of money. Just be consistent. That's something I haven't mentioned so far. But with your marketing, you want to be consistent. 
If you start a blog and that blog is weekly, that blog needs to come out weekly. Even if it's a couple of paragraphs this week because you couldn't, you just didn't have the time, just say something. Get that blog out there. If you're doing a video blog, which that I highly recommend because that's really where we're moving, the written word is starting to wash away a little bit. So you want to start doing those video blogs. Post those things on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all of them. Just blast those things everywhere so people see you. Get your friends to like everything. Just get it out there so that you get those numbers up and people know who you are. Get seen. That is the key for a beginning speaker. When you're first getting started, just get seen. Now, again, give them quality content. Don't just throw stuff out there. But get seen. Get your name out there in the blogosphere and let people know who you are. So once you have set up your brand, you have your website, you've reached out to these bureau, I mean, not the bureaus, the uh, chambers, you've reached out to the radio shows, you've networked and you've let people know who you are, they can find you on the bureaus too, you are just cooking with gas at this point. You are a speaker. You've gotten started. So as a speaker, it's also very important to become associated with organizations of colleagues. One of the best organizations for speakers is the National Speakers Association. That is a great way to get connected to people who are doing what you want to do. I'm a member of the National Speakers Association and this year I'm the Dean of the uh, Greater Los Angeles chapter of the National Speakers Association Speakers Academy. What the Speakers Academy does is it teaches you the business of speaking. It was a really interesting awakening for me. Once I started speaking, I have my bachelor's degree and I, oh, I have my bachelor's degree. And so I know about business, but it's really interesting when your mindset is you go from schooling and, and you go from what you're taught and in like job from a job mindset, you associate that with your regular degree, right? Once you become a speaker, you might feel comfortable with your degree, but I'll tell you personally, I started feeling as if I didn't have the credentials to be a speaker. And it sounds crazy because I had been speaking for years. I had two books, I, I was known even, but I just felt like I wasn't authentic, which is crazy. But then I associated myself with a national organization that represents my colleagues. And once I got in with them and started telling them what I do and sharing my experience in that arena, it gave me a little bit more confidence. It's like, oh, okay, yes, this is how it goes. And with the academy, that also, I went through the academy uh, myself uh, a couple years ago, and it reminded me of the business side, the uh, building a business plan, having a mission statement and value statement, um, pricing, all these little areas that we tend to take for granted because we just want to get our message out there. If you want to be a speaker for a living, the free events at some point have to, I won't say stop altogether, but they really have to be the exception and not the rule. As a new speaker, they help you build content. And I say, do them till you're blue in the face. But the moment that you can start charging, start charging. Even if it's $10, charge for your speaking events because that's also how you build credibility. That's also how you uh, make it possible for you to join some of the national organizations as well, because there are criteria for joining them, but there's no criteria for coming and attending some of their sessions. So go and look at the National Speakers Association. If you go to www.nsaglac.org, and that's for those of you in the Los Angeles area, well, anyone actually can go to the website, obviously. Check it out, and you'll, what you'll see is whoever the next speaker is. There's also a link that will take you to the Speakers Academy. 
it'll tell you about the academy and the academy for this year is coming up we have not started the academy just yet the academy begins march 11th you can register now you can break up your payments into three sessions i won't go into how much it is just yet you want to go onto the website and fill out the application the application is completely free and that'll get you to me so and to my other colleagues so we can talk to you and see where you want to go with your speaking and see if it's a good fit but consider investing in growing as a speaker the marketing information i gave you on this webinar will definitely get you set up in a way to where hopefully you'll get out in the world as a speaker and you'll have that confidence of i have something to offer more than just my message because people are going to want to find you once you do that really it's just building the business from there so you want to know how to build a business. And I'll tell you from experience, it's a lot easier to build that business on the front end when you don't really have one than once you've done some things and you're going, 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 and you're starting to book, 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 and now you have to backtrack and now make it a bona fide business. It's so much easier if on the front end you get that foundation set up and you start building those contacts with people who are doing what you want to do on the front end because that'll also help you build content when the year i went through not only did i learn information but i made friends that we've collaborated on different um different events and different presentations i've emceed for other people they've come to my events we've just shared resources and that's what a national organization does for you the other thing is you want to get individual coaching, and that's something else that I can help you with. I have a small coaching program. It's 10 steps. I'd love to talk to you about it. You can reach out to me. I'll give you my contact information shortly. We're not quite done yet, so hold on, but I do want to give that information to you. So there are all these ways to get out there as a new speaker. I, I encourage you not to spend a lot of money but definitely start getting that ball rolling because you don't have to have everything set up already to get out there and start speaking. Just get out there and start speaking. The beauty of technology is everyone has a voice and everyone has an avenue to share it. So use that technology to get out there and share your message. Another thing that might get in your head about that is, well, there's already... 20,000 people already talking about what I talk about. Yeah, so what? There'll be 20,001. You want to think in abundance. There's always room for one more because your message is going to be different than somebody else's. Those 20,000 people are talking about it from their perspective. There might be 10,000 people that need to hear it from you and your perspective. I'll share, before I, before I let you go, I'll, I'll share the thing that really let me know that I needed to be a speaker. When I, I did exactly what I'm telling you to do. I had a radio show in 2008. It was on Voice America. I had no audience. Actually, I had, I found out that I had quite an audience on the replays because I was number one for two months. Huh, who knew? But <laughs> I had a show on Voice America and it was really just me talking for an hour. The name of the show was the same as my second book. It was called The Positive Side of the... Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. The name of the show was No Cycle Babble, actually. Yes. It was No Cycle Babble. And I would talk about different, again, soft skills things, emotional things, psychological things. And I, to this day, still don't know. I probably could ask her. But I still don't know what episode um, this particular person heard. But I got an email from a caller, not a friend, not a colleague, a total stranger caller. It was an email because they used the link. And she shared with me that she came across one of my shows. Now, mind you, this was actually after I was off the air. She came across one of my shows, and it gave her the courage to leave an abusive marriage. I can't even I can't even begin to tell you how floored I was by that story. And and my story I know it wasn't I know whatever I said wasn't about abuse. I'm sure it was about courage or something else because I've never been abused myself, not not in that way, not physically. 
So I, whatever the message was, and, and I, I've, I've said this to her before too, she always had the courage, but she needed someone's voice that she could relate to, to push her to take action. And that's what I encourage any new speaker to do. Don't get in your head about there's 20 other people saying the same thing you're saying. They might be, but they're not saying it with your voice and your way. And there's always going to be that person out there that might not hear those other 20 people, but they'll hear you. So don't rob them of your voice. Make sure you're sharing your message because when you get out there and you start changing lives, oh my goodness, there is not a drug on the planet that can top that. So as a new speaker, get yourself set up properly on the front end. Don't spend a lot of money. Just get out there. You'll have the money later to make it all really fancy and pretty. Right now, just get seen and heard. Get your website. Get your branding together. Get out there and network, network, network. Get some information up on a bureau. Start plastering on Facebook and Twitter. Get seen. That is my advice to you as a new speaker. That is how you market yourself as a new speaker. I'm going to leave you with my information so you can contact me and ask me any questions. I also included the uh, National Speakers Association website there for you so you can find out more information about the Speakers Academy. I'd love to have you. I'm the Dean. This year is going to be so much fun. We're going to talk about um, business management. We're going to talk about platform mechanics and, and topic development and so many other things that will get you prepared to be a speaking business. You're going to leave there just raring to go and ready because we're also going to give you a video at the end of it. And it is such a great thing that you can, um, that you can, that you can do. <laughs> I love, I love the person online. Just, yes. Can't wait. Going to be good. It is. It's going to be so, so good. I, it, it, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be very interactive. And the great thing, especially as a new speaker, it's so helpful to have people around you giving you feedback right away. And that's what the Speakers Academy will do. You'll have people right there with you to give you feedback on what you're doing, what you're thinking, your ideas. Oh, my goodness. Just being in your own head gets you nowhere. When I, I tell you, when I bounce my ideas off my friends and my, associate, my uh, accountability partner and all these things, it just percolates into brilliance. Yes, of course, we know we're brilliant on our own, but oh my God, just get other people around you. So I encourage you to reach out to me and uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about it. Um, if you are considering the Academy, go to the website and fill out the application first. That is definitely the first step. Again, that's, that's free of charge. Just let us know that you're interested. And myself or one of my colleagues will reach out to you and find out more about what you're looking to do and how we can help you. Now, the other thing that I do want to offer you is that if you are interested in this marketing webinar, I am offering... 15 thing. Oh, I'm sorry. The next website is, I want to talk about the next webinar. Don't want to get off without letting you know about the next one, because this is a series of three. This was the first one. The next one is going to be next Wednesday, the 22nd, same time at 7 p.m. And it is going to be, uh, oh no, that's a handout. The next speaker, is, the next one is how to avoid the five biggest mistakes every early speaker makes. So I'm going to tell you the five things that people do wrong first as new speakers. And that's not to make you wrong, you know, right, wrong. It's all perspective. But I'm going to give you how to avoid the five biggest mistakes every early speaker makes. And then we also do have some um, marketing material for you. So if you go to my website, www.thehabitofhappy.com, you can see it on the bottom of the slide there. Um, I, I will have some freebies there for you, 15 things new speakers should do right away. And you can reach out for the call script as well. You can reach out to me and I can get that to you. But we want to get your information, so go ahead and um, 
email me and let me know that you're interested in that information. I can definitely get that to you right away. So with that, I'm so happy that you joined me tonight. I'm going to wrap it up um, here. Does anyone have any questions at all um, for me before I let you go? All right, if there are no questions, which that's okay, it's all good. I want you to actually send your questions. I know once you listen to the webinar, you're going to have plenty of questions. So feel free to reach out to me directly. You can either call the number 510-473-6059. You can email me at leslie at thehabitofhappy.com. Go ahead and fill out the application at the NSA website um, for informa more information about the Speakers Academy. And of course, go to my website at www.thehabitofhappy.com to just find out what's coming up, what's next, and to register for next week's um, webinar as well. You'll want, to, you'll want to tune in for that. So again, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. And as I end all of my talks, thank you for joining me. And, it's, and as always, until next time, go be Duke.